again will come here here 10 liters per hour is flowing through that here 6 liters per hour here what is the flow rate 4 liters per hour this is the junction what is the incoming flow rate 10 liters per hour outgoing flow rate 4 liters and 6 liters this is called Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law says algebraic sum of total current at any junction equal to 0. But uh, current is entering means we have to assume positive. Current leaving means you have to assume negative. Here, 10 is positive because it is entering minus 6 minus 4. Sum is equal to 0. That is Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's current law. Algebraic sum of total current at any junction equal to 0. Here, consider this junction. What is current leaving? 10 liters per hour. Am I correct or not? What is current coming here? 6 liters per hour. What is the water coming here? 4 liters per hour. So, minus 10 plus 6 plus 4 equal to again 0. So, Kirchhoff's current law. So, algebraic sum of total current at any junction equal to 0. So, suppose you are considering this junction means I is plus incoming current. I1 is outgoing current minus I1 minus I2 equal to 0. This is Kirchhoff's current law. Any unknown is there, substitute in this equation and find. That's all. You know Ohm's law. By Ohm's law, we can write the expression for, suppose I am having a... a sum like this. Here, this V is unknown. This current is known, 5 ampere. This resistance is uh, uh, 3 ohm and uh, this resistance is 2 ohm. 2 ohm. Let us assume that uh, here um, <clears throat> 5 uh, 5 2 by 3, 2 by 5, 5, 2 times. So, 2 ampere, here 3 ampere. So, so, what you will get? What is the voltage? What is the voltage? The voltage is not given. Can you find? How? Oh. 6 6 volt. Am I correct? 6 volt. Am I correct or not? We can find. So, suppose uh, this resistance is not given. So, it is R2. Sum is given like that. How to find? We know that this is uh, I minus I1 minus I2 equal to 0, I equal to 5 ampere, minus I1 equal to what? It is given, not 2 ampere is not given, 5 ampere only given, 5 ampere is given, R2 is not given, 6 volt is given, 6 by 3, I1 is 6 by 3, and here minus 6 by R2 equal to 0. Can you find R2? Yes, that's R. So, we can find R2 from this equation. From this equation, we can find R2. Check whether you got 2 or not. You will definitely you will get 2 ohm, no other go. So, R2 equal to 2 ohm. So, like that, uh, they will find some sums, that's all. But anyhow, what and all we used here, we used Ohm's law as well as Kirchhoff's current law, that's all. Suppose uh, you are, have you got this point? Got 2, uh, two ohm? Okay. The V is called the electromotive force, EMF. 
the V1, V2 are called the potential drop because spending something, the dro potential is dropped across resistance. That's why it is called the potential drop. V1 and V2 are called the potential drop. V1 and V2 are called potential drops. V1 and V2 are called potential drops. V is called V is called EMF, electromotive force. What is uh, V equal to what? What we wrote here? V equal to V1 plus V2. Or we can write V minus V1 minus V2 equal to 0. Algebraic sum of EMF and potential drop equal to 0. That is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Potential drop expenditure. That's why it is negative. EMF, it is positive. So wherever it is generated something, it is positive. So V minus V1 minus V2 equal to 0. Algebraic. Algebraic means it has sign. Algebraic sum of. Otherwise, we can write sum of. Why we are not write sum of? Why we are not writing sum of? It has some sign, positive or negative. That's, that's why algebraic sum of what EMF and potential drop equal to zero. That is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. Huh? 5 volt, 2 resistances, 3 ohm, 3 ohm. What is the current, total current? Find the total current. What is 5 by 6? 5 by 6, how much? Eh? Uh, 0.83 ampere. That is the answer. Suppose the two resistances are in parallel. The same two resistances are in parallel. Same 5 volt. 3 ohm, 3 ohm. What is the equivalent resistance? One point five. Always we should remember that if the two resistances are equal, equal and resistance is half of that. So one point five. Five divided by one point five. How much? Huh? Three point three three. You notice that if the two resistances are connected in series, same resistance, same voltage. If the two resistances are connected in series, what is the current? 0.83 amperes. If the two resistances are connected in parallel, current how much? 3.3. So, it means what? R equivalent of parallel circuit will be less. R equivalent of parallel circuit will be less. If resistance decreases, current will increase. If resistance decreases, current will increase. I equal to what? V by R. Current equal to what? V by R. R equivalent decreases means I will increase. So parallel means R equivalent will decrease. That's why current increases. Series means current decreases. These are all concepts we should remember. So if we put two resistances are in series, current will decrease. The same two resistances if you put in parallel, current will increase. Suppose I'm having... This way. What is total current is 3.33. Come to this first. What is current through this? What is current through this? 3.33 divided by 2. How much? Equal resistance. Therefore, equal current. How much? 1.66. Am I correct? I, I, am I correct or not? So, equal current. In both branches. Suppose I am having like this. 3 ohm, 2 ohm, 5 volt. What is the current through each branch? What is equal and resistance? Find? Find equal and resistance first. As I said, they find R e 1 by R equivalent equal to 1 by R equal equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. Therefore, R equal and directly you can write by using Calci. Bring Calci from next class onwards. If you didn't bring Calci, you will not be allowed inside. 
1.2 resistance equal to 1.2 ohm. Therefore, what is total current I equal to 5 divided by 1.2 equal to how much? 4.16 amperes total current. What is current through 3 ohm, current through 2 ohm? Here, you know voltage, that's why you can directly find the 5 by 3, that is current through 3 ohm. 5 by 2, 2.5 ampere through this, you can find 2.5 ampere through this. What is the remaining current? 1.16 ampere through 3 ohm. 1.6, then the answer is wrong. Two point, yes, yes, 1.6. Yes, yes, 1.6. Yes, yes, correct. You are correct. So, first branch, the current is 1.6 ampere. The second branch current is 2.5 ampere. Am I correct or not? Resistance is less means more current. Resistance higher means less current. These are all we have to notice. To understand something, these are all we should keep in mind. Here, one theorem is there that is called current dividing theorem. Suppose it is given like this. It is given like this. V, voltage is not given, but total current is given, 4.16. Here, 3 ohm is given. Here, 2 ohm is given. What is the current through 3 ohm? Suppose they are asking. Total current is given, 4.16 ampere is given. What is current through 3 ohm? Current through 3 ohm equal to I3, I can call. Why I am calling I3? 3 ohm, that's why I am naming it as I3. I3 equal to total current 4.16 multiplied by other branch resistance divided by sum of resistances. This is called current dividing theorem. Other branch resistance divided by sum of the resistances. What is that? I3, how much current? Check. It must be 1.6. 1.6. Huh? Got 1.6? Yes. Check. Check until 1.6 ampere. So what is the formula? Total current multiplied by other branch resistance. Not opposite. Other branch resistance divided by sum of resistance. If it is a parallel circuit to find the current in one branch means other branch resistance divided by Sum of resistances. It is if it is two resistances, then only it is applicable. 